Hey guys, my name is Crystal and today I'm going to be showing you how I did these Poodle Puff slash Bubble Braids on my hair. First I started out on blow dried hair so it would be easier to manage. Then I got my parting comb so I can do my parts. I got this three way mirror from Amazon and now I'm just parting my hair. Next, I used this hair gel on my hair to make sure that my parts were very neat and clean. And I feel like it did the job. So as you guys can see, I'm really just parting my hair and plaiting it up. I'm not going to show you guys this whole process just because my parts aren't as straight as I want them to be. And this is a tutorial about the hairstyle. Just, you know, don't look at the parts. They done, but you know, when you do it yourself, however it looks, that's how it looks. And so this is how they turned out. Now that your parts are done, you're gonna to wanna to grab your braiding hair. I bought the Cuban Twist double strand style and 16 inches. So I ended up using two packs of the three X and one of a regular pack. So basically seven packs if you wanna buy them all individually. What you're gonna need for each individual poodle puff is two strands of the Cuban Twist hair and your crochet tool. I'm gonna to show you guys how I did this first one. But it's not how I ended up doing the rest of them, so I will explain it more in detail later. But I just want you guys to watch the process and see how easy it is for now. After I finished my first one, I went ahead and did some more off camera. So this is how they turned out. Then I ended up doing a few more until I got closer to the top row. And now I'm gonna show you guys up close and personal how I ended up doing my poodle puffs. So you're gonna take your two strands of the Cuban twist hair, twist it together so you can fit in a crochet hook. Push the needle through your hair, make sure you do it up and down instead of side to side, just so it would be easier to cover the braid inside the middle. Once you have your hair all the way through, you want to go in and make sure that it's even at the ends and then you can start wrapping it from the root. You want to wrap it like you're doing a butterfly lock, but make sure to not wrap it too close to the root because then it's going to end up being too tight on your hair. I actually had this style in my hair before, but I took it down because it was too tight. I'm telling you guys so you won't be like me taking your hair down in two days. As you can see, I went in with my rubber band after I wrapped it and I secured it at the root. So your first quote unquote puff is gonna actually be a wrap. This is how it starts. After you do the first part, it gets pretty easy from there. You just wanna make sure that your braid is in the middle of the braiding hair that you put in. I would recommend pulling it at the ends to make sure it's as straight as possible to make it easier to blend it in on the inside. As you can see, I put the rubber bands on and then I go back in and pull it apart to make it turn into a bubble. So this is how it looks all the way down. So 
side note, I did go back in and fix that braid that's sticking out in the back. I know you see it. Um, I just want to say that my family's fake for not telling me thank you. That's it. So that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Now you can enjoy watching me do my last two poodle puffs. And at the end, I'll do the big reveal. So as you can see, they're all done now, and this is how they look. I decided to go in and add some beads off camera. 